What's up, man? This is five lessons that I would give my younger self if I could go back and, you know, do it again. I think they would have definitely helped me in the long run. Don't lose yourself. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand what that truly means. Lose yourself. When I say don't lose yourself, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, don't become a different person to please your partner. Don't stop doing the things that were you. Don't stop being the person that you were just because you found a lover. Finding a lover is a beautiful thing, you know? Finding a, somebody who understands you and who's there for you and a, a companion and all of that, all of that goodness, all of that stuff is fire. It's cool, it's, it's great, and it can be beautiful. I swear to God it can. But at the end of the day, the biggest mistake that you can do is not stay true to who you are, not stay true to what you do. So for example, if you are a fucking guitarist or you're an aspiring guitarist or you have a business or you love going to the gym and working on your body or you you fucking love watching SpongeBob, SpongeBob is your favorite thing to do. At the end of the day, bro, like don't stop doing that stuff because you got a girl or you got a boy or whatever. Don't stop doing that stuff because they came in your life. Because at the end of the day, there's two things, there's two reasons why you shouldn't do that. The first reason why you shouldn't do that is because if you change that shit to please your partner, that motherfucker didn't like you to begin with because they didn't accept you for who you were. And y'all should know that one. And the second reason is because you need to understand that in order for two people to work, they have to have their own lives. Your life should not be intertwined with your partner's life. And there's a misconception going on right now, especially in uh, social media and society that at the end of the day, people gotta be together all of the time. You know, there's trends of girls always wanting to be with their boyfriends or, you know, the boys always calling and texting a girl and checking up on them and doing all of this. And it, it sounds cute, you know, lovey-dovey honeymoon phase bullshit. But at the end of the day, no, bro. Like, real love is when you can coexist. And I learned that the fucking hard way because in my personal past, in my last relationship, I didn't understand that fully. And I let a lot of things about myself, you know, get pushed to the side because I didn't even do it on purpose. It was a subconscious thing. I always told myself, oh, hanging out with her is cool or doing this is cool, which it was. I'm not going to sit here and say it was a bad thing. But when you're putting that over yourself, when you're putting that over your hobbies, putting that over your, your passions, your goals, shit, your money, like at the end of the day, that's gonna fuck you up. And not only is that gonna hurt you, but it's gonna hurt her. It's gonna hurt all of y'all. It's gonna hurt the whole relationship because that person fell in love with you. That person fell in love with who you were, who you are. They're, they didn't, they're not falling in love with all of the ways that you can make them like you more. They're not falling in love with you know, hanging out with you. No, they fall in love when they see you and they realize like, this is fire, bro. And I like this person for who they are. That's real love, bro. All that other shit is lust or somebody just trying to feel something. Like that's not real love. And you know, I just wish that I could have learned that shit in the past, but you know, I'm still very young and there's a lot of grown people, like old, older people who still don't understand that. Pe they'll get into a relationship and off the bat, they'll just associate their whole personality with their partner. And it's fucked because society thinks that's normal. It's normal to always be with your significant other. It's normal to, you know, always want to do this and do that 24 seven, but it's not. It's not, bro. Somebody has attachment issues. Somebody has childhood trauma or some shit like that. Because at the end of the day, you need to understand that you got to have your own shit. And she has to have her own shit. If you get you a girl, bro, and she doesn't have her own shit going on, and when I say that, I'm not talking about like money, but I mean like she just doesn't have her own life. That's a problem. It's a big problem. You should question that. You shouldn't even want people around you who don't have their own life, right? And if you lose your life, and for example, like you stop talking to your homies, you stop doing this, you stop doing that, you start acting different, you start being distant to everybody you love and care about because you you, you found your partner. That's fucked up and that's not a healthy relationship. Run while you can. So... More of the story is when or if you get into a relationship anytime soon, just stand on your shit, stand on your business, stand on your ground, stand on the stuff that you love doing and don't cut, don't, don't cut your workouts. 
Don't cut your goals. Don't don't stop hitting the stool. Don't do any of that shit, bro. Don't stop eating healthy. Don't do none of that shit. Don't start start going to bed later and fucking up your sleep schedule. No, it may sound cute, lovey dovey, this and the third, but that's gonna fuck you up in the future and it's gonna mess her up too. It's gonna it's gonna mess up the whole relationship. It's either gonna happen quickly or it's gonna happen in the long run, right? And I don't need that shit to happen to y'all, bro. Like, that's not worth it. It's not worth thinking that you doing this and thinking that you doing that just for you to realize that you were deteriorating the relationship every single day because you didn't understand that in order to be a healthy partner, you have to have your own life. And if your partner isn't okay with that, that's not a good partner. Like, it's that simple, y'all. My second advice is you need to understand that being in a relationship is like a business. Being in a relationship is like a, a tree. You have to take care of it and you have to invest in it. You have to always give it nurture. You have to give it care. You have to give it life. You have to really put your fucking all into it. A lot of y'all be trying to get into these relationships, right? And like I said, y'all be getting into these relationships for the wrong fucking reasons, bro. Some of y'all be getting into relationships just to have sex. Some of y'all be getting into relationships because y'all hate yourselves and y'all think y'all could love yourselves with somebody else. Some of y'all get into relationships because y'all bored. Like, it's not... This society and this generation is fucked, bro. But for all of the people who are trying to get into a relationship because they genuinely love and care about their partner, what you need to understand is... It is a business, bro. It is a, a plant. It is a tree. It is life. You you and them have to invest into that shit. You have to really invest into that shit, bro. Like, you cannot... I had the misconception, personally, that a relationship... I didn't... How do I put it? I will say this, personally. I didn't understand how much effort and how much work you really have to put into nurturing that relationship and when i say that i mean like communication and being able to have empathy and being able to learn and being able to understand you and it's also you have to want it bro like at the end of the day bro you can do all of that stuff but if you don't if your heart's not in it bro it's not gonna work you have to want that shit and you have to be honest with yourself do you want that shit for the right reasons is this something that you can attain especially when you're young is this something that you can really see yourself like if you if you can look back at the moments that you're having right now with your partner and you're like i'm okay if this happens for the next five years and you you in your moments with your partner you have to add that shit with your personal life bro because your your relationship affects your personal life okay this is something that i learned the hard way if you're in a good relationship your part your personal life is going to be good if you're in a bad relationship your personal life is going to be bad. That's just how it works. Like, there's no such thing as being in a happy, healthy, love, fun, dovey relationship. And then when you get home, you're depressed. There's there's something there's something wrong. And that could be your fault or their fault or both of y'all fault or somebody else's fault. But the point I'm trying to make is your happiness is a reflection of the relationship. And the relationship is a, a reflection of your happiness. They, they're not... They're, they're the same, okay? Your personal life and your relationship will be intertwined. It will in a sense of you have to understand that you have to nurture yourself and in, in your relationship evenly and equally, and you have to love it. It's that fucking simple. But third, bro, I got boundaries. Boundaries, 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 fucking boundaries. A lot of y'all dudes, I'm really talking to the dudes right now. A lot of y'all dudes will break y'all boundaries and break y'all codes and break all of the shit that y'all believe in because y'all see a pretty fucking face. Oh my God. A lot of y'all dudes do not stand on the shit y'all talk about as soon as y'all see somebody who looks good. And I've done the same thing, bro. A lot of y'all be trying to look past red flags. A lot of y'all don't be actually thinking is this person healthy? Is this person real? Is this person going to hold me down? Is this, You see somebody who look good, who got a nice body and a pretty face, and you go at it. You go crazy. You go him. You need to understand that every time you do that shallow, dumb shit, you are, you are worsening your life. You are worsening your life. You are worsening your personal experience. You're worsening everything just because you decided to go for somebody because they look good. 
You know what I'm saying? And then and instead of actually making a pros and cons list and saying, okay, she does these things, she's like this, she's not like this. You just go for it because they pretty and you can't find nobody that pretty right now. It's like, nigga, have some standards for yourself, bro. It's, being pretty is like, ain't shit, bro. Being pretty ain't looks, at least not to me. Is your soul pretty? Like, y'all gotta be for real, for real. Like, y'all gotta stop lowering these standards for a lot of these girls out here. A lot of these motherfuckers don't want to self-improve. They don't want to get better. And you know why they don't want to get better and self-improve? Because they don't fucking have to. Because guys like you are going for anybody. You're not holding yourself to a higher standard. You're just going for anything and any, anyone who gives you attention. And that's fucking sad, bro. Like, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how you look. I don't care where you at. I don't care what type of person you are, bro. Hold yourself to a standard bro hold yourself to a real fucking standard and have boundaries for yourself have pros and cons have things that are deal breakers i don't give a fuck how you look you could be fucking rihanna bro i don't care if you don't do this shit i'm not fucking with you bro a lot of y'all motherfuckers can't say that a lot of y'all motherfuckers cannot say that you will fold the first opportunity you get with some of these motherfuckers who have nothing in common with you who don't care about you who don't give a fuck about you? And then you be the same ones wondering why the fuck you got cheated on. You be the same ones wondering why the fuck she did all of that stuff. And then you be ready to crash out over a girl. The same girl that you look past all the red flags and still got with. Guess what? If you one of them people to do that, you, you ain't nothing but a bitch. And there ain't nothing I could do for you. If you cannot have standards for yourself and have boundaries for yourself, no matter what woman you are infatuated with, if you can't do that basic ass shit, bro... Don't fucking date young because you just gonna look like a fucking goofy and then you're gonna be out here saying all girls are the same and all of this dumb shit. So stupid. You just don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're attracting the same girls because you have no standards. You have no boundaries for yourself, dude. Have some respect for your damn self and you will have respectful women. It's not fucking simple. Next one. You will not find love through a woman. Okay? Now, am I being misogynistic? No, this applies for women too. You will not find love through a man. You have to find love through this, this, your own self, this and this and that up there, okay? You have to understand at, at the end of the day, bro, true love comes from within. You will never ever be able to find unconditional love from a human. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You will not be able to find unconditional love from a human being. The closest that you can get to that is when two human beings who unconditionally love themselves get together. That is the closest thing that you will ever find to a unconditional relationship. Because guess what? I hate to burst your buttons, but every relationship has conditions and that's okay. That's the problem with y'all niggas. Y'all think that if a relationship has conditions is a problem. It's fucking not a problem. You know why it's not a problem? Because of my last, my last tip have boundaries okay my boundaries are my conditions i'm not going to continue being with you and continue doing all of this stuff for you if you are going to disrespect me if you are going to make me look worse as a person if you are going to refuse to communicate with me communicate with me gaslight me manipulate me and cheat why the fuck would i stay in a relationship because i unconditionally love you because guess what if you unconditionally love somebody you will let them do whatever the fuck they want and still love them that is not that is not what a relationship is supposed to be a relationship is supposed to be under condition but guess what guys if you unconditionally love yourself and they unconditionally love themselves you guys have a big 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 chance of actually having the same boundaries and the same conditions because a lot of people do negative stuff from self-hatred i say that with experience because i've been there it's i'm not perfect and nobody is but you got to understand that at the end of the day if you want to be happy you find that shit first not the relationship you don't put that shit on a girl you don't ever put love in you don't ever find a girl and think that i need love where's love i need love where is love i cannot find love Dude, you have to find love within. I know you've heard this before, and I'm going to say it again because it's one of the realest shits that I've ever been told in my entire life. You have to find love within. If you have a hole in your heart, you better seal that bitch up and work on you. If you hate yourself, bro, why the fuck are you trying to find someone to love you? That's not fair for them. 
You ever love somebody who hated themselves? It's fucking hard, bro. I don't wish that shit upon nobody. I don't wish self-hatred upon nobody either. But you got to pick your battles. And at the end of the day, bro, I don't want to love someone who hates themselves, bro. Now, if a homie walked up to me and was like, bro, I ain't feeling the best about myself, that's a different story, bro. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to go out of my way to find someone who hates himself or find someone who doesn't have unconditional love for themselves because it's almost a losing battle. I need to find somebody who wants to love themselves just as much as I want to love myself. And, and with that, we can love each other. But a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't understand what that even fucking means. So do some healing before you even think about dating, bro. I wish I would have just stayed to myself and healed, bro. I probably would have, shit, I probably would have still been in a relationship that I was just in if I would have did some healing and actually discovered myself and learned a little bit more and got in, in more in tune with who I am and actually went to my fears and to my goals and to the things that I loved and didn't love and liked and didn't like. And really, you know, pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm working a lot. I'm grinding. I'm making videos. I'm saving money. You know, like I'm just facing everything head on. I'm living every single day like I'm not going to have a next one. You know, like if I was to die right now, at least I put out these videos. At least I helped somebody. At least somebody got touched. At least somebody felt my shit. Like at least somebody was like, OK, that's some real advice. That's all I that's the only thing I'm really searching for, regardless of how tired I, I am, regardless of how I live for the grind and I live for the progress. A lot of y'all can't say that because y'all hate yourselves. And this isn't me trying to come at y'all. This is me trying to tell you that you got some work to do. You got some healing work to do. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with healing. A lot of us come from childhood trauma. A lot of us come from pain. A lot of us come from our mamas telling us that we ain't shit. So rightfully so, you probably got some trauma that you need to heal from. And if you don't heal from that shit, you're going to find a, you're gonna try to find a solution through a woman. And that shit going to fuck you up. So I'm trying to help you out and stop you from doing that and tell you, bro, just heal. Heal yourself. Have love for yourself before you try to get into a relationship because it will mess you up. Last tip, but not my least. My bad, I got my notes right here. Be okay with knowing that the relationship can end. Oh my gosh. This is one that I didn't internalize until the last three months of my last relationship. Oh no, I say last like six months. But a lot of y'all are not living life like there's an ending to it. And that's not that's not good. Like regardless on how much I say, you know, try your best and live like live life like you could die. And that applies to your relationship. Live in your relationship like it it could end at any given moment because guess what? It can, bro. Don't take your partner for granted and don't take yourself for granted. And at the end of the day, when things are ready to be over, things are ready to be over. When things are just getting started, things are just getting started. Like, you know, I don't make the rules for how life works, but you need to understand that every every story comes to an end. I will die. You will die. Your grandma might die. She might already be dead. Your auntie might die. Not might die. Will die. Everybody's going to die. And guess what? A relationship is going to die, too. There's only two ways a relationship can end. Either somebody breaks up with somebody or they're both going to die. That's the only way a relationship can end, bro. And guess what? Both of those things are inevitable. You know, you... You could you could possibly get past the neither y'all gonna break up, but when y'all gonna die, and you need to understand that you have to be able to walk around and be comfortable with that. You have to be happy and be grateful, knowing that the relationship can end at any given moment, and it might not you might not be ready to be over with it, bro. You can apply that that fucking saying to anything. Like your car might break, and you might not be ready for it, but that that's just how it was supposed to be. You, you could get fired and you might not be ready for it, but that's just how it's supposed to be. And you got to understand that at the end of the day, the universe is not doing shit. At the end of the day, bro, shit is happening for you, okay? Now, does that mean your ego is going to like it? Fuck no. Fuck your ego, though. I don't care about your ego. I don't care about my ego. Nine times out of ten, everything that's going on, bro, is going to happen for a reason. Shit, everything is going to happen for a reason, actually. So to bring it back, understand that you should just be grateful knowing that you did it. Grateful knowing that you got in a relationship. Grateful knowing that you get you got to meet this person and you got to see this person. Especially for all of y'all who just got out of relationships. Just have gratitude, bro. Even if you didn't want it to end and you still miss them and stuff like that. Like just be grateful that 
you got to experience a relationship. Be grateful that you got to put yourself in that position because a lot of people didn't. And a lot of people are going through a lot more painful stuff. A lot of people are going through a lot of hate, a lot of killing, a lot of murder, a lot of this. It's a privilege to be grieving a relationship. It's a privilege to be grieving a romantic relationship with your partner. So just don't forget the small things matter. And don't forget that at the end of the day, you know, we just trying out here. Um, but I'm going to wrap it up. If those videos helped you at all, leave a like. Send us to somebody that could help. STP talks back at it. You know, another video, man. Ah, ah.